Have all assembly drawings and tools ready. Ensure all PPE is worn. Ensure scaffolding is in place and signed off. Ensure hop-ups and edge protection are in place. After reading the truss layout drawings, identify the easiest starting point using the simplest roof of trusses. Begin to measure and mark out the position of the roof trusses. Mark with a crayon allowing for the thickness of the truss component. Trusses are delivered vertically. Prior to erecting the trusses, a safe system of operation should be in place. A safety platform is strongly recommended. Materials should be loaded out onto the scaffolding. Care should be taken not to overload, block or create trip hazards from arising. Timbers can be pre-measured and cut to length to speed up the installation process. Trusses should be selected from the storage area and safely transported to the plot. Please ensure the working area is free from operatives and safe system of lifting is used. Trusses should be lifted to the wall head in batches and offloaded by manually sliding them off. Please ensure a safety system is used underneath the roof trusses to be installed. From one gable end, begin to erect the first truss by standing it to the vertical from either end of the scaffold. Fix a temporary diagonal brace to secure it into position and nail to the wall head. Repeat the process until several trusses are erected vertically. Stabilize the trusses as you go by temporarily nailing either end and fixing a cross brace. Working from the scaffold or safety platform, continue this process until a run of trusses are installed. Make sure trusses are plumb and level to ensure a consistent and level plane is achieved for roof tiling purposes. As the roof is erected, ensure each section is stable, braced and securely fixed. Truss locations do not need to align with stud positions as the head binder will help spread the load. Trusses are required to be fixed to the wall head by using truss clips which must be fully nailed. Once the trusses are erected, check for line and level, ensuring a flush finish along the rafter length. After the trusses have been erected, engine to erect the gable spandrel panels. These should be stood up vertically and centred on the gable end. Panels should be fixed into position through the bottom rail and ends. Off the safety platform, secure longitudinal bracing at each truss node point and as per the drawings. Ensure gable spandrel panels are well nailed together and connected to the roof bracing. Diagonal cross bracing should be fitted at gable ends. Diagonal bracing should be fitted tight to the underside of rafters and fed between trusses. Bracing must be cut and well nailed into position. The finished roof should be checked to ensure all bracing is correct and well connected into position. From the scaffold, manhandle ladder sections into position to form the verge overhang. Ladder sections are coded and marked on the end rails. These should be positioned as shown in the roof layout drawings. Securely nail into position and anchor with truss clips to prevent any uplift. Check the top plane is flush with the trusses to ensure it is level and smooth. Remove waste and clean down, ready for the next stage.